Hey there, Justin from you doing off-road in Colorado here again. Sending a real cool one home today. This is a 2022 Coach House Platinum XL on a uh, E450 chassis. These things are just about as cool as they come. So started off with our standard recipe stuff. Six inch four wheel drive conversion. Their custom spec Alcan springs, Fox 2.0 shocks. Uh, stage 3 front axle, it's pretty much standard on all our RV builds. So 456 gears in the front with the Detroit True Track. Um, everything from the knuckles out, it's all Dynatrack. Got the big 14 and a half inch diameter rotors, serviceable wheel bearings. Um, got the American Racing Baja wheels in the front with a 285-7017 uh, Falcon Wild Peak. Um, this thing's all fully loaded up on the front bumper. So, got our FB002 front bumper with the uh, add-on for the factory adaptive cruise control and lane keep assist and everything, so that all still functions as normal. Got a Warren VR12S winch. Got Factor 55 thimble with a cool little flip-up plate mount on the, floor, on the fair lead so we can still use the winch. Got OBA port in the front, that's all hooked up. Anderson port, and we actually flushed a NOCO plug into this one also running a little uh, two amp trickle charger back there. Swapped in a uh, black plastic uh, factory OEM Ford grill with our little marker lights in there. And of course we got our favorite blacked out Vantage Optics headlights, the LED projector, and of course our standard trio of uh, Baja lights. Um, all of our motorhomes and bigger rigs, they're all gonna get a Hellwig front sway bar. Most of the bigger stuff also gets a Hellwig rear sway bar with our um, custom made uh, sway bar links that we make, the fact, the direct mount links. Um, so this one got a NP1128 transfer case with a slip yoke. We actually had to build a custom carrier for this one because the uh, original carrier mount was too close to the transfer case. So we could run a two piece shaft in the back. 1350 CV uh, shaft in the front. So rear, our st standard uh, 17 inch Dodge wheels in the back, powder coated to match those uh, American racing wheels in the front. We got our favorite little valve extensions on there. Um, Fox 2.0s in the back like usual. This one did get OBA as well. Space is pretty limited underneath these coach houses. So, let's see. Air compressor wound up above the rear axle there. And then the tank wound up going back here in between the frame rails. Um, no changes to the rear axle are necessary on these newer uh, E450s that have the uh, Dana 70 HD in them. I'd say 95% of them have 456 gears in them from the factory. And that's plenty for the 33 inch tires. And we did a really cool custom rear bumper on this one. We got a Pelican case back here. Uh, it's kind of basically a take off of our production uh, regular van bumper. Got the spare hoop with the 33 dually spare. And then a little firewood box up high. We didn't want to block the plate or the tail light or anything. And then uh, we got rear OBA port. And then we've got these nice little uh, Baja S2 work lights on both sides. Um, and those are wired up to the factory reverse lights. And then we also have a reverse override where you can flip those on whenever you want. Um, inside here. We got our lip and shelf. And then we needed a little extension hose to go from the rear port over to the sides to inflate and deflate your tires. So we got them set up with our indeflate tool here, and then we got them set up with a, uh, a recovery bag that's got all of your recovery essentials. So we got all factor 55 tree straps, 30 foot strap. Um, we've got a synthetic line snatch block, a couple soft shackles, um, all inside of a uh, Adventure Tool Company large recovery bag. This is like the perfect, exactly perfect size bag for these Pelican cases. So I recommend those guys to everywhere. They're made right here in Nederland, Colorado.
So that's about it on this one. It's a super cool build. This one actually lives right here in Colorado, resides in Aspen. He spends a lot of time in the high country, going back and forth to Moab mountain biking. So if you see it on the road, give him a wave. His name's Phil, he's a great dude. If you got any questions for me, um, even leave them down in the comments or even better yet, send me an email at justin at youjoinoffroad.com. Um, if you're inquiring about a DIY kit or install in North Carolina, email chris at youjoinoffroad.com. Thank you.